All right, here I, I've made some modifications to Pisces. One of the really interesting things that I've incorporated in here is using GNU plot to make that waypoint tracking circular graph. And uh, the black dot is my current heading. So when I want to track a waypoint, Let's say we back at my house, let's say waypoint two. So what this is basically telling you down there now is 317 feet to waypoint two, which is right there. The red spot, the red square is where I currently am. And on this graph here, the red dot is the bearing I need to go. So I need to go 106 on uh, bearing 160 to reach 2. And if you notice, red square down to 2 here matches the bearing on the circular graph. Okay, so now I'm going to continue to move here. You see the speed start to climb. And on my heading, I'm on a heading of about 270, which is due west. Okay, and you see that on the uh, circular graph. Using GNU plot to create graphs is a very powerful tool on a Raspberry Pi or under Linux. All right, so here, let's set a waypoint right here where I currently am. Okay, let's set a waypoint. Well, that was a hazard point, so let's go a little, I actually hit the wrong button. Let's go up a little bit more. You can see the red dot moving. I'm gonna show you an interesting feature here. So let's set a waypoint. Now I want to track that waypoint. It's like a virtual anchor system. So now that waypoint that I selected, that I just created, was waypoint 4. So let's say I want to stay on that waypoint. So the outer ring is uh, 20 feet. So the red dot is the bearing to the waypoint. Is when I'm within 10 feet of that spot, which I most certainly am here. You see the red dot is right under four. So if I uh, was to back up a little bit, you're going to see the red dot move away from the center a little bit. Well, we'll go the other way. I got I got cars back there. So let's go this way a little bit. See the red dot now? So in order for me to get back to that point, I need to go east, due east, because I moved due west from the point. So I'm 27 feet away from that point. So I need a bearing, I need to go on a bearing of 92 degrees, which is due east, back to that point. And let's go back a little bit. So now if I'm if that waypoint that I hit was a was a brush pile or something on the bottom so now I de it's detected I'm moving east see now it's closing in when I get within 10 feet it starts to chirp to tell me I'm within 10 feet well I have some you know the, the GPS I'm assuming is only good for maybe three to five meters which I've been playing with a lot here on the settings inside the GPS module. I have improved the accuracy now, which is which has uh, made this a lot better. So again, one of the really cool things about this project is, is I I used GNU plot to uh, that's actually a polar graph and through some interesting programming tricks the origin on a polar graph is 
well, zero degrees is where the east mark is, but in reality on a compass, zero degrees is where the north is up top. So I had to play some math here. Play with the math to change the origin a little bit. Okay, now I'm going north. And as you can see, the black dot is on the is heading north. Let's go into this church parking lot here. And we'll set another waypoint and let's test its tracking. Alright. So here we are at uh, I'm in this parking lot, so let's let's uh, set a waypoint here, and let's track the waypoint that I just put in, which is waypoint five. Okay, now I'm set to track waypoint five. I think I clicked the wrong one. I didn't. That's interesting. Where's where my where's my you are here mark? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I'm right on waypoint. As you can see, my red you are here bolt mark is right under the marker for waypoint five, as indicated by the red dot right in the middle of the screen. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so let's move now. So I'm going to be moving away from waypoint 5. And as you can see the distance, I'm moving away from that waypoint. Heading due east. All right, let's let's set back the waypoint to the waypoint in my driveway. Okay, the waypoint in my driveway when I go home is uh, let's say it's it's waypoint two. So you tap here, and I want to track I want to track the waypoint two. So it says it's 370 feet away, and I need to go bearing 140. So when the black is over the red, I'm on that bearing to get to waypoint two. And down here too, it shows me which waypoint I'm currently targeting. I mean, basically it's a virtual anchoring system without the feedback, you know, it doesn't control them like a trolling motor, like some of the new trolling motors do. So I have to do it by hand, you know, but it chirps, so it kind of gives me an audio feedback if we, when I'm within 10 feet of that marked waypoint. I kind of got to watch what I'm doing here. And we'll make a turn here. Now we're heading. Now we're heading south. Now watch when the the black dot becomes the same heading as the red dot, then I'm on course to hit, to get to that waypoint. Now I'm heading east. And what did I say? I'm looking for waypoint two, which is at the end of my driveway. So you can see the you are here mark is approaching waypoint two. Start turning and I'm moving toward it. Now I gotta head north to get to it. And that jives. So now I'm right on course to get to waypoint two.
I'm actually over, overcompensated a little bit. As you can see, the red dot is heading north towards waypoint two. I'm 37 feet away, basically, give or take 10 feet, you know. The accuracy of the GPS isn't that perfect. That's one of the things I'm working on, is getting the GPS more accurate. So now the red dot is starting to move toward the middle. I'm 11 feet away from it, which in reality I'm a little off because I'm farther up the driveway than I should be. Now you, see, now you hear it chirping. I have a piece of tape over the buzzer. So basically I'm within 10 feet of the waypoint. If I get within 10 feet, I'm fine. You know, because the accuracy of the GPS on any given day, it, it, it may not be 10 feet. It could be worse. So, so if you notice the, uh, the circle, the legend on the, on the chart, the waypoint tracking chart, the rings, we have a 10-foot ring. When I get in, in below the 10 foot, you know, closer to the center, the bullseye, basically, under 10 feet. Then I chirp, and if you notice here, the red square, which is the I am here dot, is right on waypoint two, and it says I'm eight feet away, tracking waypoint two. So that's uh, again, I want to the G and U plot is beautiful for creating graphs in your programming. If you want to serve up web pages too, like if you build web pages. You can uh, create very nice graphs using GNU plot. But here I've used it to create a polar graph that represents a compass and a waypoint tracking screen.